just have a latte at Euphoria for you. I also got some of your favorite muffins. Not hungry. Lost my boyfriend and my appetite. Well, hmm, you are not going to believe who is in the paper today. Get this. Two 11-year-old boys tried to execute their babysitter at the safe yesterday. They were foiled when the woman's shrieks were heard by an elderly neighbor. When questioned by the police, the boys said they got the idea to burn babysitter Bunny O'Rourke from Witch Wars, an ultra-violent video game from Fort Kent Spider Games in which witches are captured and burned at the stake. <clears throat> I know just how the babysitter felt. Both fell victim to witches. She was burned at the stake, and the witch I trusted drove a stake through my heart. Natalia Carlyle, CEO of Spider Games, had this comment. We stand by Witch Wars and have no intention of capitulating to special interests. This is a First Amendment issue, and we will vigorously defend ourselves against these preposterous charges. Damn it. Told her we shouldn't release that damn game. You could have stopped it. Witch Wars is Natalia's baby. Hey, well, her baby's coming off the shelves, and I will personally terminate it. Uh-uh, and you actually believe Natalia would let you? Would she rather someone got killed next time? Why don't you just blame every death in the country on me? Yeah, no one got killed this time. What about the next time, Natalia? What about the kid who tortures his big sister, huh? Freudian slip? Games don't kill people. Wackos do. Good morning. Hey, hey, the rest of us might want some of that, too. <clears throat> Games and TV shows don't make kids violent. They're just born that way. And it's always the ones you never suspect. Thank you, Sasha. Believe me, any video game is pretty tame compared to what happened to me last night. You're in deep, Alex. I'm talking serious trouble. You see, I got you on tape. I got you on tape trying to rape this girl after giving her alcohol. So I suggest that you just give it all up right now before the DA gets to you. Girls. It's just you and me now. There's not gonna be any last period rally for you. No sudden death penalty shots. And as of a girl that you tried to rape, I swear to God, if you don't confess right now, I will personally beat the hell out of you. Do you understand me? Staff, you really need to let go of some of that anger. Come on, come on, hit me with your best shot. A cat fight may be your way of solving things, but it doesn't work for me. Well, whatever works, Staff, you're my best friend. Friend? How dare you call yourself my friend? Daphne, I swear, I thought it was over between you and Dimitri. Y you refused to work with him on the fashion show, and every time he came by here, you wanted nothing to do with him. So that gave you an open invitation to screw him? Daphne, or were you trying to steal him all along? Was that your master plan? Dimitri never said anything about the two of you getting back together. Well, you don't exactly see me scavenging off your old boyfriends, do you? But then again, all your boyfriends are deep, dark secrets, just like every other detail of your life. That's not true. Oh, really? Well, then how come you've never named a single guy you've been with? Like this last supposedly married guy? You know, the one with the jealous wife who beat you up? Go ahead, Taylor, name him. Oh, come on, Sasha, don't be naive. Of course, kids are influenced by what they see on TV, in movies, and yes, in video games. That's why we have a rating system. It wasn't rated E for everybody, it was rated T for teens. It's not for 11-year-olds. Do you think anybody follows those ratings? Yes, that's what parents are for. Parents control their children's behavior. Really? So was your father responsible for your behavior? As a matter of fact, yes. Anyway, we've got a major problem here and we have to figure out a way to deal with it. If this lawsuit winds up in court, it could bankrupt the company. It's not going to go to court. Well, in any event, Natalia should resign. I have no intention of resigning. 
Then we'll force you out. Ivan totally backs me up on this one. Dimitri's right, Natalia. I think for the sake of the company, you've got to resign. You've been putting a lot of hours. You could use a break. Don't look at me. I'm 16. My 25% doesn't count. But as Sasha's legal guardian, I control his shares. However, I am willing to abide by his decision. So, Sasha, what's your decision? Dudes, I know plenty of gamers, and they're glued to their boards all day long, playing crap way more violent than Witch Wars. And they never get in trouble, ever. It's the ones that act like suck-ups you have to watch out for. I'm late. Oh, by the way, it's Holly Stace. Well, I'm glad that issue's resolved. People trusted you, Alex. You were the pride of Fort Kent. Now, instead of spending four years at a university, you're going to be spending four years in a state pen. What about your mother? That woman is hardworking and devoted to you. What do you think this is going to do to her? Sorry. Say it. Say it. I didn't mean to hurt Say it. I trusted you. And now, I don't believe a word, not one word that comes out of your mouth. I know for a fact that there were other guys involved in this little pool of yours. Little buddies of yours that had cash money in this little, little game you got going on. I want names. I want names, Alex. You understand? If, if, I, give you, if, you, if I give you names, will you go easy on me? You're in no position to make a deal. Rising Star Escort. Uh, yeah, hi. Um, I'd like to set an appointment for later today. And you are? I'm Jim Daniels. I'm in from Newark on business. I got your number from Boris Carlyle. Oh, I see. Well, is there anyone special you would like? Yes. I'd like to see the same lady Boris used to see. Are you at this number on the screen? Yes. So I'll wait to hear from you. So Dad had a thing for hookers. So did Francisco. Hey, man. You totally been on my mind. Come on in. So, uh, how's it going? Okay. How did everything go the other night with the exhumation and all that? Oh, uh, taken care of. Yeah, thanks uh, again for helping me with the bank withdrawal and uh, keeping Natalia occupied. Anytime. In fact, I'm here to occupy her again. She around? I passed by her office. They said that she was working from home. Yeah, she's lying low, trying to steer clear of the tabloids. Yeah, I read about that. Look, D, if there's anything I could do... Uh, you. I'm the first guy I call. God, you are so stubborn. Because I won't cave? Read my lips, Ivan. I'm not resigning. I have worked too hard and too long for this. No one, not Dimitri and not you, is ever going to take it away from me. I just me. don't want to give Dimitri the satisfaction of saying I told you so. You'd rather sacrifice spider games on the altar of your own ego. This is exactly why Daddy left me the company. At the first sign of trouble, you just crumble. Just like with Julie. Francisco, am I glad to see you? Uh, am I interrupting something here? No, not at all. Ivan was just going. I was worried about you last night. I missed you. <laughs> 